So here's a quick one about a wife and mother, a suburban housewife, if you will, who claims she cheated-ish with her husband's best friend. They were having, uh, partaking in group activities, which is really stupid, but they were. And her husband had one rule. You can't have relations with him or anybody without me there. And of course, she breaks this rule and now it's a total, total S-H-I-T storm, which only proves that these types of things always turn into a big giant mess and you should, you should never do them. And of course, she's upset and crying and all that. Title, I cheated-ish husband's best friend. <clears throat> Says here, my husband and I have been married for 10 years and have two kids. I love him and he's my best friend. You're doing this and you have kids. What the hell is the matter with you two? This past summer, we started hooking up with his best friend. Not them together, but with me at the same time. Lots of alcohol and MDMA. My husband made it very clear that I could never hook up with his friend alone, and I agree. Yeah, well, smack to the husband for going along with this. What the hell's the matter with him? You are a father. You got two kids in the house and you're doing this kind of bullshit. It's one thing if, it was, if you were both into that lifestyle, there's no children around. I don't care if the kids are grandma and grandpa's doing that crap. And then you're allowing her with your friend. It's bad enough with any guy, but with your friend, what the hell's the matter with you? And her, again, your mother. This past weekend, it happened again and it was great. Everyone was happy, but I was pretty blocked out by the end of the night and don't remember going to bed. Apparently, I got up in the middle of the night and went to the friend's bed, naked, and went to sleep. <clears throat> like a legit sleepwalking situation. I was up the next morning, totally out of it, not knowing how I got there. The friend was really nice and explained I must have been sleepwalking and just laid down and started snoring. Oh, well, that explains everything. Then it's okay. And, of course, nothing happened. Here's a question. Is she a regular sleepwalker, or did she just happen to sleepwalk the same night that the friend was sleeping over and was naked and, you know what I mean? Really? <clears throat> we were both naked from the night before. We had been having SCX for hours the night before. He started having SCX with me, and I consented. It wasn't a minute before I came up, came to, and I was like, I can't do this without my husband. I got up and left, but I let it happen. I told my husband, and he is angry. Well, of course he's angry. What do you expect? But then again, this dumbass allowed this to happen in the beginning. Not you and the friend alone, but you know what I mean. He has every right to be. I broke his trust and I feel horrible. Sure you do. I didn't intend for it to happen. It was just so fast and I was very out of it. I stopped it very quickly, but none, but nonetheless, none of that was important. I broke his trust and I'm on the couch. I'm devastated. I have no one to talk to about this. Oh, boo-hoo. I, I call BS on this. You knew what you were doing. Again, how often do you sleepwalk? Despite the sound of this, I'm a very nice suburban mom who lives a very normal life. I'm a really good wife and mother. Kinks are what they are. Please be kind. I'm in a really bad place. Uh, don't post on Reddit if you want people to be kind. Now, you're going to get people who are be sympathetic to idiots like her, you know, but still. And I'm a really nice suburban mom. This this goes to show you guys, you just never know who your neighbors are. I'm in a whole new neighborhood right now in Florida. Beautiful place. Halloween night, I was out there meeting my neighbors because I was giving candy to 10,000 kids to stop by. A lot of housewives in their 30s and 40s there. They were looking at me like, oh, who's this guy? And you can't imagine what goes on behind those walls. This is an edit. I hear you. It's not ish. I did cheat. I didn't mean to. And now I don't know what to do. So I'm going to read some comments because nobody's buying into this, this song and dance. See, this guy says, so you cheated, not ish. He had one single boundary and you and his so-called best friend broke it. Unless you can acknowledge that, I don't know how you can move forward. And your husband probably won't want a three something for a long time and never again with him. Well, she's an a-hole for doing what she did. And the best friend's an a-hole. But the husband's also an a-hole. For allowing this all to begin with, you know, so he he served her up on a silver platter. And the guy says, you deserve what you get. It's not about the kinks. It's not about doing and eating drugs or alcohol to have SCX. It's not about three somethings. Was it your dream to have two men? Husband's dream, or is it your husband? Or is your husband by? How long before this is enough for you? For either of you, are you willing to bring a female in and drop the best friend? Bet you won't for your husband screwing another female with you at the same time. Yeah. I'm not getting a whole lot of backstory on how this all started. You know, the likelihood is she manipulated him into wanting to do this. And finally, after a while, he caved. But then with his best friend, go figure. Yeah, if he wanted to bring in a woman, how would that go over with her? 
Now the guy says, you made a choice. It was pretty clear nobody, nobody plays unless the whole party is there. You knew that. Your best friend knew that. You both didn't care. For as bad as you feel, suck it up. Bad choice of words with her. Because it's worse for him. He found that his wife and his best friend, two of the people he should be able to trust most, can't abide by one simple request, which was that he be around for any SEX. This is the world you made, ain't it grand? And uh, one here. Your husband seems like he's an understanding man, so he might be able to forgive you, but things would never be the same as before. The bottom line is you cheated, and I see a lot of things you say like you were out of it or you stopped it very quickly. You're minimizing it and not taking ownership of what you did for what it was cheating. I'm not buying the whole, you know, he slid his you-know-what in her, and then all of a sudden she's like, oh, oh shit, never mind, I'm awake. I, suddenly the alcohol has, has worn off, oh, and, and, and left. I'm not buying that. I'd say put yourself in his shoes if your third third was a woman and he did the same. You might be okay with it since you don't see us cheating, only cheating-ish. It takes a lot to let another guy F your wife, so he set a boundary and you broke it. More power to him if he forgives you. Forgives, because man, that takes a lot. Stuff like that destroys marriages and relationships. Don't know how his mindset works. I'd be amazed if you were gaining his trust. Good luck. Uh, what destroys marriages and trust is getting into stupid-ass arrangements like this to begin with. But again, at the end of the day, the husband allowed it, and it was going on with his best friend. Now, I don't know what what was being pulled behind the scenes to start this whole situation here. But again, both of them are husband and wife, and they have children. Okay? Again, if they were single, living this lifestyle, because that was their thing, that's one thing. When you have kids there, I'm assuming the kids aren't around when all this BS is going on. Please tell me that. But even that. So... Welcome to Psalm of Gomorrah 2.0. I don't feel bad for her, but then again, I don't feel bad for the husband either. Got a lot of idiots out there. So guys, once again proving these alternative lifestyles, open marriages, polyamory, three-something, whatever group SC, whatever you want to call it, it all leads to disaster. So it's best to think twice before engaging and partaking in such activities.